What's up, y'all? Sparta here. Um, this is going to be a bit of a different video. Now, as you guys can... Why is it doing this? Focus, please. Focus. There we go, motherfucker. <laughs> it's still... Fuck it. Whatever. I'm going to just focus right there. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a different video. Like I said, um... I want to compare the rumors between the LG V40 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, as you guys can clearly see, this is the V30 and the Note 8. So, keep in mind that, obviously, these phones aren't out yet. That's why I'm doing this video, to compare rumors, not necessarily to say which one is going to blow out the other and stuff like that. But yeah, obviously I'm going to get the specs out of the way. Obviously both phones, Snapdragon 845, at least 6 gigabytes of RAM. There is an optional 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage for the Note 9. But what Samsung typically does is leave that for like the Korean market. So I'm not necessarily going to touch on that. Um... We are very murky on the details on the V40 when it comes to storage and RAM, but I assume you'd at least get 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage as an option. And that would be something that I would like very much. Um, so, screens, obviously. It's kind of murky whether or not the V40 will have... It obviously it will most likely have an OLED panel, <laughs> but it's very murky on whether or not it'll have a notch. Some places say it will, some places say it won't. It will definitely have two cameras on the front, so it could have 3D facial recognition like the iPhone 10 does. And that's something that I do indeed like. That'll definitely improve the facial recognition front for LG phones and that's something that's very cool but is a what is a very neat rumor is that it'll have three cameras on the back obviously it'll be lateral like the G6 and pretty much G6 G7 and pretty much every other phone out on the market right now so so what is what is rumored and what is honestly the most intriguing thing to me about any of these phones out of either of these phones is that it'll have a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now, I don't know necessarily what they mean by that, but that's just something that is very intriguing to me and something that I do indeed hope is the case because that would be sick. Now, a triple camera around the back, what exactly would that be on the V40? Obviously, what I just said, it will be an ultra, one of them is rumored to be an ultra wide camera, that 20 megapixel. One is. One is obviously going to be your main sensor, and one is going to be a telephoto lens. You know, your zoom lens that you basically get on every other phone. Possibly to help with, um, possibly to help with portrait mode and stuff like that. I don't have any problems with the G7's portrait mode, so I don't necessarily see why that would be the case. Probably just have it as an option, so you have two different zoom modes to basically be one of the most versatile phone cameras on the market. And that's something that's getting me very excited. And I really hope that rumor is true. But when it comes to battery, we don't necessarily know. Um, on the Note 8, you will indeed have the dual camera set up on the back. It's going to look identical to the Note 8, save for the fingerprint sensor being at the bottom. That's literally the only difference is going to be designed, that's, is going to have design wise. And obviously different colors and stuff like that. They've been teasing with the Unpacked event. They've been teasing stuff like that yellow S Pen and is going to have Bluetooth capabilities and stuff like that. I don't know what that's going to entail of, but that's something that's pretty cool too. Um, obviously, obviously it's going to have the um, improved facial recognition thing. That I did, that before they even did that, I did say I wanted where they use the facial recognition and the iris sensing in tandem to have a more secure way of unlocking your phone. <laughs> that was something I kind of predicted, and it was cool that with the S9 and S9 Plus, they implemented that. So that was a call that I pretty much made, and I never heard anybody else make. make. 
but there's a 4,000 milliamp hour battery that's going to be in the Note 9. That's something that I do indeed like. And that's something that that alone would make me get the Note 9, to be completely honest. The design of the Note 8 is something I really do like a lot. It's not something that's like super flashy and stuff like that. Like I don't necessarily like curved pebble looking phones like the S9 and the S9 Plus, despite the fact that the B30 kind of looks like that, but it's not necessarily that all, to, all in all. Um, obviously, he's going to have the um, variable aperture that the S9 Plus had. And, well, S9 had it as well, but it's going to have the dual cameras. I don't remember if the variable aperture was on both lenses on the S9 Plus or just on one. If you have the S9 Plus, let me know in the comment section below because I'm not necessarily sure about that because I don't have the S9 Plus. But I know on the S9 it did have that even though it only had one sensor. Um, what else? Yeah, there's really not that much that I can necessarily say that one phone is going to destroy the other end, but obviously the V30 is going to destroy the Note 8, Note 9. The V40 is going to destroy the Note 9 in audio. That's obviously going to be a thing. Who knows if LG is going to do a front-firing speaker with that boombox speaker setup <laughs> who knows if they're going to do that obviously they're going to put a boombox speaker in there because it's a it's something that a lot of people like on the g7 like a lot of people like that's a highlight of every review is that the boombox speaker on the g7 is insane <laughs> and like i've said in my videos i can no longer use my note 8 <laughs> when it comes to like listening to like just basic videos and stuff like that because it just sounds so slow it sounds so low it's weird now and that's pretty much it when it comes to that though let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below though again i'm not trying to make this a huge video because it's just rumor mill and the v40 is gonna come out in october it always comes out the v series has always come out in october I don't know why publications have been saying, oh, they're just trying to dodge the Note 9 and iPhones. And, like, they've always released it in October. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? They're probably going to do the prep. They're probably going to do the reveal later. Like, probably, like, probably, like, the beginning of October. But at the very least, they've always released their phone in October. But that's all I'm really going to talk about there. Again, let me know what you guys think of this, though. Um, this is something that's very exciting for me because as you guys know, I love my V30 and I love my Note 8. Like, and there it goes again with the voice unlock unlocking when I don't say my full phrase, but at least it doesn't do it with everyone else. So I don't really care. <laughs> um, yeah, I love both of these phones a lot. And honestly, a lot of people are saying, oh, skip the Note 9. It's just going to look like the Note 8. Looks are not going to be are not going to be what sell these phones anymore. Like, I'm sorry. They're not like every phone is a beautiful phone nowadays. And I don't know why the G7 doesn't want to fucking focus. But, you know, I'm going to just leave it how it is. <laughs> I should just use manual mode, but I didn't really feel like doing all that. Especially since I like to ramble. I didn't know how long I was going to make the video. So, you know, it's whatever. Let me know what you guys think of this, though. Um, I really hope the V40 does have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery just to match that. Or at least or at least close. Like, if it's, if it's like 3,800 or something, fine. If it's bigger than 4,000, definitely fine. But don't make it 3,000. Do not do what you did with the G7. That would disappoint me and a lot of people a whole lot, especially since this is a con. The V series is aimed at content creators. That's something that they've always done. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Like I've said for the third time already. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday, whatever time of day it is in your area. Have a good one.
If you like this video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Share with people that are interested in the, either the V40 or the Note 9. Since both of these phones are literally in my face, I'm about to, I'm almost about to say they're the names of the phones in the frame. But um, um, comment below on which one you're excited for. I'm equally excited, but that ultra wide angle lens rumor is really getting me excited. It's kind of crazy, but <laughs> but yeah. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that um notification bell icon so you know whenever I upload a new video. Um, again, this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Thanks for 505 subscribers, and have a good one.